and welcome to Good News Friday. Mike Simon is here. I'm Joey Yarber from Simon Solutions. We're honored that you are allowing us to talk with you today about a little bit that we're learning. We're always learning, Mike Simon. It is incredible, though, as to how that we talk with people every day. Those that are in agencies that's working with individuals that are going through crisis type scenarios and very, very challenged on a lot of different areas of life. And there are a lot of people out there suffering. There are a lot of people that are challenged. And the agencies that we're serving, that we're working with right now, providing features, are actually changing. They're moving the needle, as you like to say. And uh, it's a process, though, isn't it, Mike? I mean, it's, it's not something you just, you know, automatically overnight can expect to take someone from a place of crisis to a place of self-sustainability. But we've got solutions. And uh, you've eloquently put this together, I think. Well, uh, you know, we've talked about it uh, for years. You know, when we first put the technology out there, we learned from the helping agencies that they're, you know, they're all struggling and they're all trying to meet needs. And because of their limited resources and because of the scope of what they can do with the staff they had, they have to specialize. And by specializing, some went into emergency food you know, like a food bank or a pantry. Some went into, uh, uh, you know, providing assistance for utilities. You know, a lot of emergency right. stuff and, and emergency. But then there's some that they want to take it a step further. They don't want to just help people get by. They actually want to help people get ahead to a better quality of life. Right. And they're learning and they're teaching us about right. this. And, and so what we have put together is, uh, from what we're learning from the people out there, they're doing this, we put together what we call the transformation roadmap. And this is, this is uh, what we're suggesting is, you know, if you really want to move the needle of poverty and hunger, this is what a process kind of looks like. And, you know, with your permission, Joey, I'll, I'll show you what that is. Yes, please. Like. So, so as you can see, you know, we like to, to suggest that this is a transformation roadmap from surviving to thriving. I, I know if, if I was in a place where I was, just getting by, I, that's not thats not the kind of life that I would want to live. I, I really, you know, and I've talked to, to so many people who have been in a surviving state and they don't want to be there. They really do want to want to thrive. And But when it comes to doing that, there, there's kind of like a, a process, like you alluded right. to, a process right. Right. that has to happen. And it starts out, you know, when you're walking, it's like a, a mother, you know, uh, you know, a mother who maybe is, is divorced or, or or maybe her husband ran off and left her with a child and she's struggling to make ends meet. She's trying to trying to balance out a career and at the same time she's trying to be a, the mother to her child and all that. And it's tough. It is yeah. really tough for them out there because all they know is is living in a state of poverty and it's like a poverty cycle that just happens year after year after year and they don't seem to find their way out of it. Right. And so what we're discovering is that when a community uh, we'll have a community-focused type conversation. What do I mean by that? When, when all the helping agencies the community who all do specialize in certain aspects of providing for people's needs will work together, just work together. You know, they can all be part and partial of a more comprehensive approach to helping people like, like this lady and her child. And, and even if you're doing crisis care, but it's providing food, shelter, and safety. There, there may be another organization out there that's providing the education and counseling and some programs and services and help you get knowledge and support, you know. And it, it may lead into some type of, you know, job training or something like that. And then we get into the fact that some agencies in the community can provide child, child care. A lot of times I've mm -hmm. even heard people say, well, you know, I'm trained for the job. I want to get to the job, but I have no transportation because I can't afford to get a car. You're going, oh, my God, what a dilemma that can be. You know, yeah. you're, you're, you're thriving to get ahead, but you don't have a car. And then you got, and then you got, if you're a single parent, what do you do about, you know, child care, you know? And, and so, but there are organizations that do provide this, we're finding out there. Are we, are we not, Joey? That's They're, right. That's exactly right. And yeah. then there's the ones that really move into uh, what we call helping people, helping people get a good job, that pays a good living wage and provides them financial stability. That's when the real transformative change will begin to happen in, in a person's life. And 
but you got to have, that's when human development and community develop work hand in hand. And that's when your business community, your institutions and all that, when they start working hand in hand with the helping agencies in the community, then you're bridging that gap from the get by to the get ahead. And then ultimately, where everybody would love to be is you really experience a better quality of life and a brighter future. That's the abundant living. And that's where the lady here with her child can one day experience home ownership, a savings account. And here's another thing. We've often found that when people like this rise to this level of abundant living, they want to give back yeah. to the community. Yeah. And they yeah. often end up volunteering at these helping agencies that help them get ahead. And now they're giving back to the community. That's why we call it the transformation roadmap. And you're hearing conversations out there across the country where people say, well, that's what we want to do. So how do they that's do right. that, Joey? Well, you know, some of the features that we've been able to put into place help along this process. And one of the great things about Charity Tracker is the capability of measuring the current status on a client that you're working with. Are they progressing? Are they moving down the road, moving the needle? Or are they going backwards? And, and what can we do to help them to further? Because many times the, the issue, Mike, is you have an agency that's working with an individual that can provide one thing but they can't provide all of the things that they need. It's multifaceted. This road, this transformation process takes other things to be able to help them to get to where they want to be. So working with others in collaboration, being able to measure the current status on a client with assessments, that's a feature that we have there in Charity Tracker and Oasis Insight. Outcomes, another feature to be able to set benchmark goals, being able to focus in on that current status. Is the client there yet? being able to measure, you know, step by step, those benchmark goals. This is all part of what we're hearing back from our agencies and our, our customers that are saying, you know, here's what Charity Tracker is allowing me to do. I'm focusing in on the data of the client. I'm seeing where they are, but I'm also seeing where I can help them go. The abundant living, moving down the road, moving the needle in a positive way. Uh, that's what Charity Tracker and Always the Inside is able to accomplish, Mike. And that's good news, if you ask <laughs> me. You know, I, I would think that many years ago, people did not realize that this was even possible. That's right. Exciting times. Uh, Mike Simon, thank you. Hey, anybody who wants to talk with Mike or I, we're always here to do Mike at SimonSolutions.com. That's Mike at SimonSolutions.com or Joey at SimonSolutions.com. We would love to hear from you. For all of us at Simon Solutions, take care, have a great Friday, a good news Friday.